Hi, Laura. Top five dream jobs. Hey, come on, that's private. Number one, journalist for Rolling Stone magazine, 1976 to 1979. Get to meet The Clash, Chrissy Hind, Sex Pistols, David Byrne. Get tons of free records. Number two, producer at Atlantic Records, 1964 to 1971. Get to meet Aretha, Wilson Pickett, Solomon Burke. More free records and a shit ton of money. Number three, any kind of musician. Anything but classical or rap. Settle for being one of the Memphis Horns or something. Not asking to be Jaeger or Hendrix or Otis Redding. Uh huh. Number four, any film director. Anything but German or silent. And number five, we have architect. Yeah. Seven years training. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't really know why I put architect. I'm not sure I actually want to be an architect. So you have this list here of five things you would do of qualifications and salary and history and time were no object. Yeah. And one of them you don't really want to do anyway? I did put it at number five. Wouldn't you rather own a record store than be an architect? Yeah, I suppose. And you wouldn't want to be a 16th century explorer or the king of France or... Oh, God, no. Well, then there you have it. Dream job number five, record store owner. You know, I find it interesting that you keep showing up here, Laura. Well, this is the last of it. You know, those bags do look heavy. Where's Ian, or Ray, or whatever the fuck his name is? Mr. Raymond. Ray, to his friends, or more importantly, his neighbors. The guy who up until six weeks ago lived upstairs. Ray, I hate Ian. <sighs> yeah, me too. Yeah, I'm sure. Time to go. Ah, uh, you know, you should probably grab your CDs, too. They aren't really mine, though, are they? I mean, I know you bought them for me and everything, and that was really sweet of you, but that's when you were trying to turn me into you, and I just can't have them sitting around. I know they'd be staring at me. They just don't fit in with the rest of what's mine. Do you understand? I mean, the Sting record you got for me, that was a present for me. I like Sting, you hate him, but the rest of these people, who the hell's Nick Lowe or Graham Parsons or the Boredoms? I don't know these people. Okay, I Okay, I, I get the picture. I'm sorry. I don't mean to go on about it. I just, I think there's a lesson to be learned here and I want to make sure you get it. Yeah, no, I get it. I mean, you like, you like Sting, but you don't like Graham Parsons because you've never heard of him. You're being deliberately obtuse. Yeah, okay, I guess I am. Well, just think about it. Fuck.